Hey guys, and welcome to your two minute money manager. I'm your host, Stacey Johnson, and this answer is brought to you by MoneyTalksNews.com, serving up the best in personal finance news and advice since 1991. Today's question comes to us from Sarah. Sarah says, I've always heard you shouldn't retire if you still have a mortgage. But if I wait till my mortgage is paid off to retire, I'm going to die at my desk. (laughs) What should I do? Okay, Sarah, let's discuss. Well, the first thing you should know is that entering retirement with a mortgage isn't as rare as it used to be. According to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, about 30% or 4 million American retirees do have a mortgage. Now, it's a number that's been growing for years, which really isn't all that surprising, considering homes have gotten way more expensive while inflation-adjusted wages haven't gone up very much. So the first thing you need to know, Sarah, is that if you have to retire with a mortgage because you have no other choice, do it. You're not the only one. Now, for those of you, though, who do have a choice, you either have the savings or the income to pay off your mortgage before you retire. Let's look at the pros and cons of doing that. I'll start with mortgage payoff pros. One advantage to getting rid of that mortgage is obviously increased cash flow. Money you're no longer putting towards your mortgage can now go into something more productive, like your savings investments, or better yet, making your golden years more fun. (laughs) Another advantage is not having that obligation over your head. Not only does it feel good, but should things go south, it's just one less bill to worry about. And finally, if you're earning less on your savings and you're paying in mortgage interest, you're going to get richer. You're going to be better off. Think about it. If you're paying 4% on your mortgage, only earning 2% at the bank, then you're going backwards by 2% per year. Now pay off that mortgage, and you'll be gaining 2% per year. You'll be getting richer. So let's talk now about some mortgage payoff cons, disadvantages. One disadvantage is turning a liquid asset money in the bank, into an illiquid asset, which is home equity. Let me give you an example what I mean by this. A few years ago, during the housing crisis, I had a bunch of money in the bank, earning very little interest, obviously. I used it to buy the house next door, and I bought it at a bargain price. I fixed it up, then I sold it for a big profit. Now, theoretically, I could have borrowed against my house to raise that cash and buy the house next door, but I probably wouldn't have. Because I had the cash and it wasn't earning very much, I did something with it that earned a lot. In short, having money in the bank can help you help make you help make you more money. Plus, it feels good to know that if things do go south or some opportunity arises, then you've got the funds to deal with it. Another thing to consider. You might get a tax deduction for your mortgage. Now, this is harder to do now because the standard deduction for single taxpayers is twelve grand and twenty-four thousand for married couples. So, a lot of us are no longer getting a tax write-off for our mortgage interest. Still, if you are getting that deduction, what it does is essentially lowers the cost of the interest you're paying. The bottom line here: I've given you some pros, I've given you some cons, but what should you actually do? Well, it really kind of depends. You should pay off your mortgage if, one, you've got all your retirement accounts fully funded, you're socking away as much as you can, Uh, two, you've got a ton of savings that's earning almost nothing, three, you're not getting a tax deduction anyway, four, you can't see any future use for the cash. Now, on the other hand, you might be better off leaving your mortgage alone if, one, you're earning more with your savings than the mortgage is costing. Two, you're getting a tax deduction. Three, you might find something rewarding to do with that cash. Or four, like Sarah, you simply don't have the money to pay it off. Any of these could be the correct answer, or rather I should say either of these, paying it off, not paying it off, could be the correct answer for you. I hope that answers your question, Sarah, and I hope you all join me right here next time. Remember, if you've got a question of your own that you'd like answered, all you have to do is subscribe to the Money Talks newsletter. And if you like this video, Please say so, especially if you're watching it on YouTube. Thanks much, guys. See you next time.